Hello, everybody, and welcome to another new edition of Community Works. I'm Bernadette Welsh, your host. So what is Community Works? We love to highlight local nonprofit agencies in our state. Our goal is to educate you, our viewers, about the great work that's going on all around us every day by local agencies and their supporters. When people help their neighbors, everybody benefits. So we're going to talk about a brand new, a relatively new charity in the state of Connecticut called Senior Wishes. And that can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. So rather than have me blab on about it, I'm going to introduce my guests, the co-founders of Senior Wishes, and they're going to tell us all about this fabulous new charity. So I'd like to introduce Tracy O'Brien and Christine Brown, the co-founders of Senior Wishes. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you for having us. Thank you, thank you My for having pleasure. us. My pleasure, I am so happy to have you on. So Tracy, I'd like to start with you. How did Senior Wishes come about? So in my grown-up job, I work a lot with seniors in the Medicare and Medicaid space. So after we would go and help them with all their Medicare and Medicaid needs and different programs available from the state, things would happen like their TV would break. So, you know, in the back of my mind, I had this idea where we could create a nonprofit where we could fill in those gaps to just make their lives a little bit more comfortable. Great. So the idea was that if they had a senior had a, a small wish that if you could have a little bit of money, you would be able to, to fulfill the wish. Exactly. So I think you told me a little bit before the show that, that somebody gave you a whole slew of money because they liked the idea? So it's an angel donor, and what they've done is they have um, guaranteed us a donation, a matching donation. So if we are able to organically raise $10,000, they will match that with an additional $10,000. Wow. So right now you might have, you, oh, you, you, the wishes are doing, gonna do great because there's money for it. That's great. Absolutely. Absolutely love it. Okay, Christine, how does a senior qualify for a senior wish? Is there a process? There is. So there's an application process and we have an amazing board of directors and the applications are reviewed by the group and the board of directors. The criteria is 65 and over in the state of Connecticut. They have to be Medicaid, Medicare eligible, and those numbers will shift depending on the year. Yeah. Um, and they have to be cognitively, physically, and willing to accept the wish. So uh -huh. they have to be able to enjoy the wish that they're asking for or being gifted. There are two ways to get a wish. First, they can nominate themselves and they could send an application in saying, I need this, whatever it may be. I need, I need a television, I need a microwave, I need a walker or they can be nominated by somebody so someone may recognize a need and we found that we've received a lot of wishes from um, low-income housing and a lot of the resident coordinators within yeah. those low-income housings recognize that some of those residents are really they are living just day to day hoping that you know they have enough food and they can afford their heat and they've asked us to you know help, help with some wishes Okay, that's great. Because it could be something like a television or, or an extra special something. Yeah. Because um, the, the, you're not in the business of big, big wishes. It's more like those little wonderful things that they just don't have the money to get. Right. We don't want to grant, give somebody a wish to say, see a Yankees game. Yep. Right. That's okay, not that's our goal. That's important to know. That's not your goal. That's not our goal. Our goal is to really enhance the life of that senior and the community in which they live so we can... You know, not only do we want to focus on the seniors, but if there's something that we can do to make the entire situation that they're in a little bit better, yeah. we would love to do that too. I like that idea. That's really awesome. So there is a process. So, all right, so now we got the process and the person has a wish and the person gets the wish. So Tracy, how long does it take for a wish to be granted? It really depends. So some of the wishes, it's easy enough for us to meet with the board and go on Amazon and order something. Um, and some wishes are more complicated. We're working on one right now where she's asked for a propane stove for her home, an indoor stove. So it's complicated because we need to get the stove. We also need to get 
the utility company to install it properly. Oh, right. So that can take a little bit more time. Um, we got some wishes late late last year for air conditioners. So we're like, we'll hold off until spring. Mm -hmm. But we, as soon as we get a wish, we'd like to respond to the person that we've received your wish and it's in our review. And as soon as we have a decision, we'll get back to you. And sometimes we're just like, just, just watch your mailbox. It'll be there It'll in two days. It'll be there. So yeah. they might get the notice, like the grand prize you have won. So they get this thing in the mail. I yeah, love it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I think that would be so great that they could go to their mailbox and find that their wish had been granted mm -hmm. and that it's just going to be a matter of a, a day or two. Mm -hmm. oh, yep. Awesome, awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. So I'd like for you to each one tell about a favorite wish that you have granted in the past only a year, right? Is it only been a year? Not even. Not we, even? we went to the drawing board in February last year. So this February was our one year anniversary of actually creating the nonprofit. And we got our 501c3 last this past August and launched wow. live from the Milford Oyster Festival on National Senior Citizens Day. Wow, so this is like new, 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 so it's new, new, shiny new, new. and new. Yeah. Just like a brand new baby all yeah. right all right so that's cool <laughs> yeah. so tracy could you tell in the short period of time that you've been doing this one yeah. of your favorite wishes so easy there's a gentleman he had always wanted a pair of cowboy boots so 90 years old never had a pair of cowboy boots and the senior center that he goes to almost every single day had sent in the wish for him so right before Christmas we went and we granted the wish with a pair of cowboy boots and he put them on and he had a favorite country singer and he sang a song by him and oh took his goodness. picture in front of the Christmas tree. I think you'll see it later. And that was just, it was such a fun wish. I did, you know, and again, then what that brings us back to is the point is that it's just something that made, what he wanted to make his life happier. Right. It wasn't anything big grandiose thing. No. Right? Exactly nope. right. Yeah. Isn't that often what life is about? Something little, small, very like that? little. It wasn't. It. It's not about the cost. Sometimes no. it's not about not the, the cost, cost no. right? We do have a threshold, so we try not to go between like more than five hundred. So we the wishes three to five hundred dollar wishes. And That's I, a good point. And I, yeah, I wanted. I felt like I should mention that. Mm -hmm. You know, we do have a cap, mm -hmm. um, but you know, this gentleman, you know, the boots. It the boots. His experience was so much more than the money that we spent absolutely, on it. Absolutely, absolutely. And then, if he eventually his family members will have those boots, and then they'll never forget. Yeah, they won't forget about that wish. I love it. I have a pair of black cowboy boots. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I should have worn them. That's right. Yeah. I should have worn them. Should have worn them. Yeah. Okay, so Tracy, that was your favorite one. Obviously, you enjoyed that wish, but I bet you have a favorite one too. Christine. I do, and so it's like a two-part wish. Okay. Um, so we had a woman who um, who applied for a wish. She was the president of her um, low-income housing participate, like her activity. She was president of the activities of the low-income housing. So she wanted an iPad so she could keep track of all of her appointments and calendars and stuff like that. So I would also like to mention this woman is also 88 years old God bless as the her. president. Like, God bless her. She was a pistol. We call her. We, you know, we say we're going to grant you your wish. And as Tracy mentioned, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to grant the wish. In this case, it took time for us to be able to order the iPad and get the iPad sourced and have it delivered. So we got the iPad. We call her to say, we'd like to bring you your gift because that's the other thing. We really want to make this a personal experience. Yeah. So we really try to deliver the wishes if we possibly mm -hmm. can. Mm -hmm. So she's like, you didn't, I already got an iPad. I'm like, what do you mean you got an iPad? She's like, I thought you sent me an iPad. I said, no, we did not. She goes, well, an iPad came in the mail. I, you didn't send it to me. I said, I'm sorry. I said, congratulations. I think that's awesome, but you didn't get the iPad. She goes, well, can I take my my wish and can I give it to my neighbor because she oh, also wow. needs one. So the power of the wish, right, to pay it forward. Mm -hmm. So we weren't able to grant that woman her wish, but mm -hmm. we were able to give it to somebody else just as deserving. And as Tracy mentioned, that you'll see one of the pictures. And, and you know, again, what that brings up is the kindness of people. Right. 
the, the kindness, the generosity, that they feel that, you know, I, can, I don't really need this anymore, but I'll give it to my neighbor. Yeah. And uh, see that, I love that. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah. Because when you give, you get. And when you keep giving, it just yes. it just keeps going on and on. Because when people help their neighbors, everybody benefits, right? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Yep. All right, so we have your favorite wishes, cowboy boots and granting iPads that people pass on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I think what we'd like to do is show some pictures mm -hmm. of, the, of some of these wishes being granted, and then the ladies are going to describe the pictures to us. So can we see a picture to my friends in the control room? A picture? Uh, okay, so Christine, that's obviously you. This is me, and this is this is the iPad recipient. I love it. Yeah. So we, um, when the when we delivered the iPad, she, the woman who originally we granted the iPad to, said, "I want you to come to my place, and I'd like to be be involved in her gift receiving." So it was sort of like a little party in her apartment. Her dog was there, and it, she was very, very grateful. And this woman is from Scotland. She had the most amazing accent. Oh, could you listen to it all day long? Oh, I could listen to it all day long. Listen to it all day long. Yep, listen to it. I probably spent like an hour there just listening to her talk. It was pretty amazing. And you see, you gave her something, and you got something too. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that must feel great. Yeah. All right, can we see another picture, please? Uh, what is this? So this is actually the first in-person wish that we really got to grant together because of COVID. Okay. So this is Jennifer, and Jennifer um, unfortunately was displaced from her home. So yeah. she's, um, because there was asbestos, they were cleaning the asbestos out. And she needed a new wheelchair. The wheels on her wheelchair were broken. Insurance wasn't covering it, right. so we drove her. We drove her wheelchair into the nursing home, and wow. um, yeah, it was a really. It was so really she's sitting touching. in her chair. She's sitting in her chair. Yeah, yeah, it was really kind of touching. Kind of cool. Okay, yeah. let's see what's next. Oh, Tracy, that's you. What are <laughs> you doing me. here? So um, last year, the Wolcott Senior Center had been vandalized. Oh. And it was in the news, and we were we we're trying to do some pre wishes prior to our actual launch. So, and I'm lying. That was actually no, at that's, Conroe. That's Conroe. That's um, we the um, there's a an event. It was at Mohegan Sun, and they do an event for all the resident services coordinators for the state of Connecticut. So all that low income housing, all the population that would benefit from these wishes, we had a booth. And that's where we met a lot of people. So when Christine says these resident services coordinators are making wishes on behalf of their residents, that's where we met a lot of them. Okay, great. And it's see, yeah. it pays to advertise, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, I love the colors in this. Where are you? That's the Milford Oyster Festival. So that was August 21st, and they, they offer nonprofits free booths. Yes, I so, think a lot of yeah. the chambers are doing that. A lot of the communities are doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I always had it in my mind that we would launch on National Senior Citizens Day, and it just happened to coincide with the Milford Oyster Festival and Christine's birthday. Oh. So <laughs> it just, the moon and stars Christine's just birthday. aligned. Yeah. 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 Okay. And they all aligned. Yeah. And the balloons, yes. everybody was like, what is going on here? You know, you yeah. to, to draw people in. And we actually, we weren't asking for donations that day because yeah. we had just launched, but we got a couple hundred dollars worth of kind people just walking wow. around the Oyster Fest. I love it. Yeah. I love it. See, again, that shows the goodness of people, the kindness of people. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Okay. Santa Claus. Yep. There is my gentleman with uh, his new cowboy boots. All right. And uh, Santa, of course, and then Dave, he's... Um, he's a fixture over there at the Windsor Senior Center Aww. and one of our board members. Excellent, excellent. Okay, how about the next one? Oh, look at that, Christine. Who are you smiling with? So this is this is Ruth. So Ruth um, is a is a resident in a low income housing community, and Ruth uh, needed new tires. Her tires were bald. Yeah. And the reason why we felt this was a really important wish was because Ruth does for others. 
and she goes out she takes people to doctor's appointments she picks up people's medications so she goes to the food bank and brings back food for some of the residents who are non-mobile who can't get out so this was a really was and so we met at a dunkin donuts we had a cup of coffee together and you know she just started talking about some of her stories some of the things that she does so this is really you know like this is like kind of the heart and soul of what we really wanted to do aside from the one-on-one -on -one giving of a gift this is really you know a meaningful gift well you know i'm glad you brought that up because i was gonna we were going to talk about that how does a wish granting a wish benefit the whole community and we were chatting before the show about how important it is to drive a safe car yeah whether you're a senior or not but our seniors really need safe cars mm -hmm. absolutely uh, absolutely cars yep. so you granted a wish she was able to take that wish and pay it forward by doing what she does in a safe car. Yeah. So that does benefit the community. I mean, that is just an exo a great example of benefiting the community. Okay, I think that's the last photo, am I right? Oh, uh -oh no, nope, here's another more. one. Yeah, Ooh, so okay, that's, what do we got? that's my daughter. She's um, on the board as well. Oh, wow. And the, the woman in the front seat, she had um, lost a lot of weight Okay. And none of her clothes fit her. She didn't have a winter coat. And the woman in the back seat, that's her aide. So they went and they met Isabella and they went on a shopping spree. Wow. So we, um, Isabella took her, I think, to TJ Maxx and bought her some, some clothes, some personal items and a brand new winter coat and everything. And there's another picture somewhere. They've got all these bags that they left <laughs> with. And, uh, so it's just a really fun wish. I think that's another example of just wanting to feel, you know, pretty. And mm -hmm. how you don't want to wear clothes that don't fit. And right. warm. And warm. A coat. Warm. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's a great wish. That's yeah. a great wish. She had wish. so much fun doing it. I'm sure your daughter had a great She's like, time. ooh, shopping. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't want to go shopping? One for me, one for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, now, look at that. What's that? So this is the Cadillac of walkers. Um, so, I've never seen that before. Yeah, so this is a woman who needed a special walker. Um, she is housebound, so she's a, if you notice, she's in a motorized wheelchair. Yeah. Um, and she had not been able to get out of her house. The, her walker broke. The insurance company sent her a walker that was broken upon arrival, oh. and, it was, and it was boxed. So... She couldn't put it together. She had no ability to use it because it was broken and they wouldn't take it back. Oh, that's, that's sad. Yeah. So we, we Cadillac Walker, she was like, she was, could not believe how amazing it is, but this walker now allows her to get on the bus yep. and to go grocery shopping. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Doing something that allows somebody to do the normal daily activities normal daily. Of, li yeah. of living without yeah. having to say, somebody, please help me. Right. Yeah. And yeah. the right. worst is when they don't have someone to help. Yes. Yes. So now they can help themselves. Yeah. They can help themselves because it's about personal dignity, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Which and is why one of the reasons why we allow people to nominate yep. others because there is, people are maybe too proud or too prideful yeah. to say, yeah. I need help. Yeah. And to have someone to say, I think you, you could use this. I just want to give this to you. Yep. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Oh, I think that's Tracy again that's behind me. that magic yep. mask. That's the, the Wolcott Senior Center that was vandalized. And the insurance company replaced a lot of things for them. Mm -hmm. But what they didn't replace were gift cards that they give to their the people that attend the Senior Center. Yep. And they would give them gift cards to the local grocery store. So we went and purchased um, a whole bunch of $25 gift cards to donate to them so that they could give it to their to the see, people that see. needed them. Okay, well that's it. Um, that And that is amazing because we went through a whole range of different kinds of wishes to see how the, your organization works and what you care about and how you accomplish giving out those wishes. So I can't be more thrilled to have uh, that explained to everybody. Okay, so your organization is obviously amazing and I understand you could use some more volunteers so could you tell us about that and what the volunteers do and what you what are you looking for yeah so we have Christine and I have really been doing a lot of the wish granting 
and you know with the help of Isabella and we have a lot of wishes that are ready to be granted so we need genies we need wish genies to help us grant wishes wish genies oh my <laughs> God, yes. um basically it just we have the the item so i know we have a gentleman he's we have a tv for him um and uh, they're have, eluding me. Yeah, so we have a we have so many wishes. We have to we have to get out. We have a TV. We have a, a water system for a woman who has to walk to her basement to get fresh water. That's ridiculous. So we're so we can so there's a system that you can buy, and I know nothing about this. She sent me the link. There's a system you can buy that can be installed in her basement, and it will pump water up to her first level. Um, we have a walk, uh, not a walker, a wheelchair, a light wheelchair, because this woman is having trouble getting, getting it out of her car. Um, we have another wish for someone who needs a knee brace. Yeah, but uh, you just, don't have the volunteers to help you to do it. No. I mean, you ladies are working full time. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have families. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're doing the wishes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, folks, listen up. We need volunteers for senior wishes. So, if that's something that moves you or touches your heart, we're going to tell you how to get in touch with Christine and Tracy. And look at that, seniorwishesct.org at 203-214-2466. So we want you to know that that's the way you can call if you want to be a volunteer, if you want to find out about the application process, if you want to just find out more. That is where you go, and maybe one of these nice ladies will be picking up the telephone. You never know. Could oh up oh, up oh, Christine? <laughs> Christine's going to pick up the telephone. The other thing that's on the website is if anybody wants to donate, there's a link yeah. to our donation site on there. Um, so yeah, because that's what we're going to talk about next. Yeah, yeah. So we do want everybody to know that you can go to that website and donate. But what we also want to do is tell everybody about even getting even more money. So um, how do we get even more money for Senior Wishes? How do we do that? Fundraisers. 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 Yeah. Fundraisers. That's right. Yeah. And I understand that there's a pretty amazing fundraiser coming up real soon, folks. Mm -hmm. On April the 10th, it's going to be at the Orange Ale House. And we have, there it is, there on the screen. So what do you ladies want to highlight the screen and tell people what they're going to do if they go to the party? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, it's a Words on Wood um, custom sign fundraiser. So the important thing to know is that you have to pre-order your sign and your design so that when you show up on the 10th, it's there for you. So we're cutting it super duper close, really like yeah, Monday is like the latest. Super duper dose close. But yeah. if you um, are interested or you just want to come and have a drink and, and see the event, donate money, um, you know, feel free to contact us and we can help you through the process of choosing your board yeah. with the help of Pinterest. And so if I like wanted that. a board that says, I am totally insane. Yes, absolutely. Or uh, I am happily, happily married or any, mm -hmm. anything like that. You yep. make your sign mm -hmm. and yep. the money, I guess, uh, the part of the proceeds are going to senior wishes. Yes. Correct. Yep. Ex excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. So is there anything else coming up or is there something that maybe people could tell you about or a, a fun, don't you sometimes just go places and to the, one of these, um, Expos and then people give you money. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. And I, I got a, a message through Facebook, from our Facebook page, from a church in Southbury. And it was just random, out of the blue. And they were having a tag sale, a church tag sale. And she wanted to let me know that they made us the charity of the month. And part of the proceeds from the sale of the items from their church tag sale were going to come to senior wishes mm -hmm. and that's not the first time that's happened so you know the the generosity of complete strangers has just been one of the most amazing parts of this experience um, you know people are just so kind and generous when you think you know the world's going crazy yep. there, there's a yeah. lot of great people I think that's a very good point we do often think that the world is going crazy but 
maybe some things in the world are going crazy, mm -hmm. but not when it comes to helping people, especially our seniors. We're all going to get there. I mean, my hair is as white as snow, and it, it's going to happen that you are in need of help. And these seniors are in more need of help because they're not wealthy seniors. No. They're, they're seniors that are, are very vulnerable and so need our help. So I hope everybody will think about donating to have a little fundraiser. Have a party with your girlfriends. Invite them over, promise them wine and cheese, <laughs> and then say that instead of giving a house gift, they can bring some money and give it to Senior Wishes. We'll make sure that Tracy and Christine get it. Love we'll that. just set it up that way. How about that? I'm going to talk to some of my girlfriends about that. I think that's a great <laughs> idea. We could do that. Yeah, we have I, an ongoing yeah. wine fundraiser. Yeah. Oh, you do? Um, yeah, yeah, if you go to Senior Wishes CT on Facebook yes. and go to our page, there's a link to purchase wine. Part of the proceeds come to Senior Wishes. Oh, see, that's what I mean. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. 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 And then you could have a wine party. You too. could have a wine party. I, I do want to mention. What? that 100% of our donations go to Grant the Wishes. Yes. So we we are all volunteers, yep. and we absorb the administrative costs of whatever we're doing. So yeah. every dollar that gets donated goes right back to a wish. Out of the goodness of your heart, out of the goodness of your heart, because a lot of charities have bo have uh, have administrative uh, fees and, yeah. and, and costs, yep. and you gals are not doing that. No. They're doing it all themselves, and so that's why, you, and that's why you need some volunteers. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yep. after a while, you, you, you got to have some help. <laughs> yeah. You got to yep. have some help. Okay, so I can't believe it, but we're already pretty much out of time. Oh, but fast. I do want to just say that um, the senior wish idea is new, but really not. Mm -hmm. Because people do help their seniors. They help their elders. They do. You've just expanded it. Mm -hmm. Beyond a family member saying, Mom needs this or Dad needs that, let's get on the phone and talk to the nieces and nephews. You've expanded it to the wider community because maybe somebody doesn't have their mom and dad anymore. Right. And they don't have somebody. So I like the idea of the fact that you've expanded it beyond the family to grant a senior wish. Mm -hmm. And I just hope you just keep on doing this because it's just a great idea. And eventually, if you have to get it more formalized and do a little bit more of that, that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. okay because what you're doing is so really special for our community. So thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much for, you having for having us. us. Oh, yes. I love it. We've had a lot of fun. We had <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, so I hope you will call, um, call the studio, NHTV. If you have an idea for a show, we'd love to hear about it. We also love to hear if you don't you didn't remember that seniorwishesct.org and you need a little reminder, we'll give you the reminder. Uh, the show will be broadcast soon, so I hope a lot of people get to see it uh, because it's really worthwhile. Um, so until next time, I'm Bernadette Welsh for Community Works, and I hope to see you again real soon. God bless, be well.